Zohan here this morning. Zohan has a very severely infected tail. We have him uh, completely under anesthesia. He was induced with propofol, IV, and then intubated and running on isofluorine and oxygen. And we're monitoring visually his heart with the ultrasound probe at the moment. Uh, sometimes we're able to get it with a Doppler, but right now it's, it's showing up very nicely with the ultrasound, and we'll use that as our as our main monitoring tool this morning. So, so we've marked the tail here in three sections, which we will show you on the radiograph as to why that is, but the incision will make, be made on this most proximal line uh, where we know we have healthy tissue versus disease tissue further distally. Ready to start uh, the surgical procedure. As I said earlier, here's our incision site. Uh, we don't, I don't, generally like to make incisions in reptiles with, with the cautery unit. Uh, I use the sharp blade and then use the cautery for hemorrhage control. I feel like they heal faster and better when the incision is made with a scalpel blade. So we've made our initial incision and it's always best to try to make the incision between the scales as opposed to cutting through the scales themselves as healing is much better when done this way. Okay, so we've completed the, the gross dissection of the tail and we have dissected between the vertebrae as opposed to cutting through it. And we're about to remove the tail section. And then I'm gonna cut a V section of muscle tissue out of there to allow the closure of the tail. We have tunneled out and cut sections of the muscle here so that we can then oppose the edges of the tail like this. If we had not done that, the tail would not come together uh, with suture. We're closing the incision with a, with a mattress pattern so that it everts the skin edges. Reptile skin tends to want to invert and it's best that it doesn't in healing. So this pattern allows it to evert out. And uh, we, when you put the suture in, you want to try to go between the scales as you did on the incision because it, it puncturing the scale itself is not ideal. So between the scales, you can see right here. Technician Jennifer, turn off the anesthetic now. Uh, reptiles, uh, you know, they don't wake up super fast, so we want to give them every chance. Uh, to wake up smoothly, but we turning off the anesthetic early and allowing some oxygen for a little while and then quickly going on to room air uh, because their impetus to breathe is not uh, uh, CO2 as it is in, in mammals. It is uh, oxygen driven. So as long as we're giving the, the animal oxygen, it, it won't wake up. So it's best to give them the room air as soon as possible. We're going to put a little bit of uh, surgical glue over the over the edges of the incision just to seal it a little bit. It's not really closing, but it seals just to keep keep it clean. And there you have it. Hopefully that will cure this problem dressed surgically twice before uh, elsewhere and it was progressively uh, becoming more infected proximally. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, we take them off oxygen very soon after the surgery is over and breathe, uh, breathe for them room air because room air has a lower oxygen than 100% oxygen obviously and again their impetus to breathe is oxygen content in the blood. So we want to lower that down to get them to breathe on their own as soon as possible. We do continue to monitor this one uh, with, uh, with the ultrasound to watch the heart, uh, and it's, it's doing great. Uh, we do have a pulse ox in the, uh, in the cloaca, however, it is not consistently picking up. So we, we like to rely on that ultrasound probe uh, it, because it's, it's, much, it's much easier to... to to see the heart. We're in her incubator now. Uh, it's always important, and I forgot to mention this during the surgery, to keep these guys warm. As we all know, they don't make their own heat, so 
they, uh, they won't wake up well at all if we don't keep them warm during recovery. And it, they, the incubator is doing that for us as well as we do some, have some heating discs underneath the towels so the heat will rise up and trap in the blanket so keep her, keep her that much warmer. Uh, the tube is still in place. She's breathing well on her own, but we leave the tube until she really shows motion and you know, just, just in case. But in this case, she's gonna have that tube out in a few minutes.